Yo, what it do, man? Welcome to episode four of Grind Face and the Therapist, man. I'm Demetrius. And I'm Samir. We've been together for 28 years, married for 22 or 23, but who's counting? Um, So this episode, we're going to talk about roles, man. What part of the relationship roles, marriage roles, all type of roles. Um, So go ahead, Samir. Start us off on the road. So what made me want to do, you know, discuss roles was I saw a video. <laughs> of two guys speaking and the guy was upset because he was asking, posing a question. Why don't women want to, uh, come home and cook, come home and cook and clean. Um, and the guy's response has been married over 20 something years. He said, because they're tired. So the guy couldn't fathom like why he kept saying, because they're tired. Um, and I think, you know, in, the older times, you know, like maybe the fifties, forties. Because man was the 60s. provider. Yeah, man, a man was a provider, and a woman stayed at home and worked. But we know that's really not the case. Now, I think if you stay at home, whether male or female, you should carry your weight load. Yeah, you, you know should basically have a house clean, dinner made, different things like that. But if both people are working, um, yeah, the whole woman role to me goes out the window. Like I'm not coming home from the office or coming home from doing all that I do and cooking. Now what I will do is get a chef. You know, I got a housekeeper because I don't want to clean up because I'm not going to spend that many hours taxing my brain and then come home and have to figure out I got to clean the house and cook. That's just my, not going to happen. My clean up is half ass. Yeah. His, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even like him to clean up. So therefore I just got a housekeeper, you know? Hey, hold on. But literally, when I um, to clean my um, living room downstairs, I just use my blower and blow all everything out the door. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. He hasn't, okay, he hasn't cleaned up since. I yeah. straightened up. It's a difference. But I straightened he up. He hasn't cleaned up and washed clothes since, like, man, 2001. See, it looks like I had a housekeeper before you. Doubt? No, I was the <laughs> housekeeper. But I didn't mind because I was a stay-at-home mom, right? So the house stayed clean. I always had dinner when he came home from work. So, yeah, that that's traditional. Or that I mean, if you're sitting at home all day not doing anything, your house should never be dirty. And you should have dinner made. But if both people are like... I think it's come in a plain team. They got to learn how to be a team. And that's a lot of people feel like it's... His, hers, your job, your job. It's, I think if you move as a team, everything else will flow smooth. Yeah, I think so. Sometimes you cook, sometimes I cook. You know what I'm saying? You cook more than I cook now, though. Sometimes I take out the trash. You never take out the trash. And I'm, it, you, know you know what? what? And so I'm let's just... talk about the roles like that because it's, it's like. There's just certain things I'm not going to do. Hold on, hold but, on, hold but on. But is it beneath you it's to not take that out the trash in the street? Not, okay, it's not that it's beneath me, but it's just certain things that I'm not going to do. Like, you don't have to wash. Honestly, I don't want you to wash because you don't know how to wash. You mess up the clothes. In. Yeah, you so, mess up the clothes. So it's certain things that I know that you're not going to do. I think it's just basically playing on strengths and weaknesses. Just like, for example, when we travel, I don't like to plan. I hate to plan. I hate to plan. Even for events. Even yeah, if I'm I gotta, very organized. Yeah, I like to be organized I, I hate, and on time. Yeah. So I hate to plan. So you always do the planning part. I just say, give me a bomb room, nice resort, and I'm there. Like, I don't. So you have to know your mate, too. Like, for example, like, can I pay bills? Absolutely. Do I okay? Let me put it in context. I don't have a problem with paying bills, but having a to do list of bills is another task for me. Like, I'm, I'm very organized with stuff, so I like to be organized and have stuff. You keep set. saying like I'm not organized, I'm very organized. I just don't want to do it. Well, okay. I've well, okay, put it like this I've never had to pay the bills, right? So, I mean, even though it's coming out the same account, I've never had to be like, oh, this bill needs to pay this because you've always taken care of that, right? So, for me to have the think that through. I don't want to. It's never been a job for me. But let's talk about bank accounts because many people, you know, they're in relationships and marriages and they, they have separate money. I think that caused a division. And that's where your money issue problems come into the relationship because one person might be making more and then you feel like, hey, you need to pay 50% of the bills and this and that. So how would but they... what is 50% in a marriage? I don't understand that. Hey, Our man. relationship. I guess they didn't get there. See, I, I feel like Okay, we both got our own businesses. We got all um, business and bank accounts, personal bank account, but we all joint. I could go in her business and take all her money out if I want to, and she could do the same to mine. But we got a communication, like, basically, what we put in our personal bank account is that's for the household, 
in household bills and stuff like that. And then our business account is strictly for the business to move around like that. So I think it's just a communication on how you move the money and pay bills and stuff like that. But I don't think we've ever seen his and hers or yours and mine money because it's it's all in the no, same pot. It was his and hers when you had that on food stamps. When? Back in the food stamps and cash aid, when? that was your shit. Remember, when? let's don't try to, it was his and hers. Okay, when? Yeah, when Make we was younger, that was your, your, your county check. Were we living together? Yeah, right, so it was at a point. The count. Okay, let's yeah. be let's let's, let's, let's be not, clear. It was but, my county check. Okay, so you were on the case. Let's be clear. Two, back then, like we barely had. I mean, come on now. We, how we far? How yet. far is the county check gonna go? That's like That's, typically bills, food, and in 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 rent. That's it. In, in diapers. Yeah, I mean, it, it, you yeah. had to basically have side hustles to cut. So yeah, like of course. That's we have to pay. There is no extra money. I just say what what works for everybody. Well, not even works for what works for you. Just find what works for y'all. But I feel like that's a division, in my personal opinion, when his and hers back in count, and you don't know how much they got in, and they coming home with new clothes and shoes, and you'd be like, damn, I wish I could buy me some shoes. Yeah, that that that's not gonna happen. I wish you would come tell me you only paying fifty fifty what fifty who fifty percent. Yeah, not not with me. That that just would never happen. So but what, it, 60, 40? What? Uh, nah. Uh, Negotiating nah. what? If I can't see your paychecks and see where your money's going, it's a problem for me. Period. Okay, so what other roles is out there, man? We talk about parenting roles. Like, who's the discipliner? We should are. both parents be the discipliner or one should be the good guy, bad guy? Because okay. I think I'm the good guy. <laughs> Very much the good guy. You're the discipliner. I wouldn't say you're the good guy. You probably used to be the good guy. You used to be the good guy. See, but I know my strong suits in my parenting is, is the two Ps, provider and protector. The other areas I got to work on. Well, you, well, provider, protector, you're also more of Disneyland that. Um, when I want to be serious and have them do stuff, you want to play around and joke. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. I'm not the disciplinary. Yeah, I'm a disciplinarian, um, and I don't have a problem with that either. But it's a balance because even though I'm the, I've always been the one to discipline. Um, they'll come to me with real hard conversations as well. So you got to have that balance. I don't think both people. I mean, you just parenting should fit to your 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 personality to your parenting style. I don't think every parent, or I don't even think a couple's going to parent the same. But what I do think it should always be a united front. You should always basically be on the same page with the rules, which you weren't. So when I was working, I got to tell the story. So when I was, before I was, okay, when I was a stay-at-home mom, everything with my kids was structured. Controlled. or No, structured. Controlled. Or, structured <laughs> and organized, okay? And at this time, they were the two oldest were in high school. And to me, that's like the biggest time when your kids need to be monitored is when they're teenagers. So pretty much they knew, you know, when they were picked up from school, they needed to be at a certain location by the high school for me to pick them up. So my son, you know, he basically would never be there to be, get picked up when my husband was there, but he knew that Demetrius basically would just leave. But see, that yeah, was his... You ain't there at the set time. I'm gone. You could figure your way home by yourself. But that was the whole point. He <laughs> wanted to figure his way home because he wanted to do extracurriculars, activities after school that he shouldn't have been doing. And so for me, if I was home, oh, no, I'm not leaving the school. I'm calling your phone, going to your... I'm going to call every friend. You're going to come to the car because the way I used to do things, I'm calling your friends. I'm popping up at houses. You getting in this car, you going home. And so I'm not going to do it. See, my concept is this is your life. You're going to live with your consequences, not me. But at the end of the day, when you 18 and you're going to make your decisions and live with your consequences, that's at 18. But as long as you under 18 and under my roof, you're going to do exactly what I say. Because control. It, no, it's not control. Basically, he was planned, Demetrius. And, and doing what he wanted to do and see when I, oh, I used to be so mad because I'm like, well, why didn't you basically go get him? Like, why didn't you make sure he got in the car? So that's why I say he's, they could, they could get away more with him 
than me. Like, I'm the parent that I'm going to check grades. Like, in today's time, when p- parents tell me they didn't know their kids was failing, I'm like, how? Like, it's Aries. It's all type of portals and stuff where you can go online. If a grade's missing, your like phone is getting took. I feel like education is a joke. It's not going to get you nowhere. Nah, mm-hmm. but it's this. See, mm-hmm. it's not about. Well, you do need to have education, but it's also the discipline and structure. Like, to me, high school is like a, a setup to how how diligent. To get you to a, a nine-to-five job and know how to get nah, there, there on time. Nah, it's high schools don't teach you for nothing. It, it, it's, 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 it's responsibility. Yeah, to go to it's work commitment. on time. No, nah, it's commitment. Like, if you commit to something, you need to be full engaged and you need to be on board. And that's, I don't care if it's school, if it's anything, if it's a sport, if you... If you sign up for something, you need to dedicate your time to put in the effort to make sure you do what you need to do, period. So, yes, I'm the parent that controls. That's not control. That's parenting. Now, if they was 18 and I was still doing that, that would definitely be control. Once you turn 18, it's like, okay, I'm going to give you the information. What you do with it is on you. If you bust your head to the white meat, I'm going to let you. I'm going to pick you up and nurture you back to health. But I'm going to let you make your own decisions. I'm going to give you the pros and cons and what you do. But when you under 18, okay, for example, women will go out their way, and some men too, men and women will go out their way going through their woman man's phone, trying to figure. I'm like that with my kids. With teenagers, you need to know what they're doing. You need to know what they're involved in. I think sometimes people don't pay attention to their kids enough. So, no, I'm not in your phone. I'm trying to no, figure I out mean, what you're doing. I agree. That's a, I, I like that about you because I'm not going to do all that. I am. That's like a job. It's, it's, parenting <laughs> is a job. Parenting is a job. Oh, man. Like, I'm not about to be worried about your phone. I'm worried about because at the end of the day, I could leave you, right? Whatever's in your phone, I'm out. But with my kids, they're forever going to be my kids. I need to make sure that I'm mold. Being a parent is molding a mind. It's a person. Right. I'm take that job seriously. Like I take it serious. Coins. We get the coins. She, she oh my goodness. We get coins. the coins. Bro. No, but seriously, like, so with, with my kids, I'm going to make sure they on top of they a game. So if they're doing things that they shouldn't be doing, that wasn't the foundation I provided for them. So, so yeah, but that goes again. Each person got their strong suits because, like, I, I take my kids serious if somebody hurt them or you know to protect them. So, I go to all the way, all the way. Yes, like if certain things, they, I make sure they don't tell you. If they, you know, what I'm saying having issues, I go all the way. So let's even talk about that because, like, even from a parenting, you know, we're not gonna go into it because that's her personal business. Something that happened to our daughter. But even when she shared it, I, I was like, don't tell your dad. Like, you could tell him what happened, but don't tell him the logistics of who. And you know what I mean? Because as a protector, my job, even as a mother and a wife, is to protect you from you doing something dumb, right? For them not being able to have you from you. I mean, it's, it's natural as a father to want to protect his family and a husband to protect his wife. But as a mate, I also think you have a role and a responsibility to know what to share with your mate and what not to share with your mate. I agree, because, you know, some stuff, I, I do go off the wall on some stupid shit. Yeah, and, and I'm going to make Because I'm, sure. very, very, I'm very emotional when it comes to my kids and my wife. So, you know what I'm saying? You will get a reaction that you don't want to see. And that's why we don't, I make sure certain ask, things are not ask told Ask the deacon you. at the church. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that, That's why I make sure, you know, we keep certain things from you for that very reason. But. So, yeah, parenting, I think, is a huge role. But I feel like when the parents are not on the same page, it can become a problem, too. Totally. I agree. Because then then the kids are so smart, they would play each parent against each other, which later on caused um, marriage issues and relationship issues. Yeah, because every time they want to do something, you'd be like, go ask your mom. (laughs) Because it's like, I don't don't care. (laughs) If you want to stay out till tomorrow, go ahead. Yeah, see, (laughs) Disneyland dad. (laughs) that's what I'm like and they knew too like it's so funny because it's just the way I was brought up because I was controlled so I already know you can't control a kid if they gonna do what they gonna do they gonna do it and they gonna find a way to do it and be sneaky about it so it's like if they wanna go to a party let them go to the party just give them the boundaries if we sit the two oldest down right now and they've told me this they was like dang mom we used to think you were strict but now we understand and so as a kid you do need to say no sometimes, but they were allowed to go to every dance school, every game. They were allowed to go out. 
But if it's a house party that just looking sketchy to me, no, you're not going. How you know the house party looking sketchy? Because I'm a parent. I do my research. Mm-hmm. I'm so, a parent. So all the, the, let's say all the events that you couldn't go as a kid, did you still go? No. It depends on who house yeah, I was at. You, you were still it, no, popping no, no, up at the spot. I, for you. Like, no. I thought you couldn't come I, out. What are you talking about? Remember when I wanted to go to that game? If I was at my mom's house, mm-hmm. I could do whatever I wanted to do. No supervision. My dad's house? Oh, my goodness. Like, And that's one of the reasons why I wasn't like overbearing with my kids with school activity. Remember that game? And I seen y'all riding past on the bus. I was pissed, and I wanted to go to that football oh, game I so think- bad. And my dad wouldn't let me go. And I like, know, I think I don't know. I probably was Pomona High and Gary or something. It was our it, rivals, somebody. I don't remember. But then I don't remember where who it was playing. I just wanted. to. I was like, dang. And then like I remember my friend had a party, and my dad wouldn't let me go. So it was like a lot of things like that. Like I've always allowed my kids to get out, but yeah, you're not we about had the fun p- too. You missed out. Your man was there having fun. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, so um, dang. So. Dang, you remember forget what I was gonna say. Yeah, you just got flashback of your man having fun without you. Nah, you remember forget what I was gonna <laughs> say. So yeah, I've always let my kids basically, you know, get out and have fun and do things. But as a parent, you know, you gotta be cautious because a kid just wants to have fun and they don't see the threats, you know, and the cons to it. So yeah, I let them go to parties, but at the same time, you know, where's the party at? What type of area is the party in? You know, let me see the flyer who's throwing the party. And as a parent, I think that's my job to just look into things before and say before saying yes. Like they're allowed to do a lot of things that I wasn't to do. But oh, that's what I was saying. But when it comes to like rules, like no, you getting in this car after school and then coming home and doing what you need to do, then you could do extracurricular activities. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> Point made. <laughs> Cause you, you just went like a whole circle zigzag back to point at you. Like, Cuz you made me you, forget. We've been, we've been talking about parties and then you jump back to me picking up the kids from school. Because you sidetracked basically what I was saying, even though, cause you keep saying controlling, which is not as parenting, even though I was sh- like strict, they still had like, my dad was strict. I couldn't do anything. Even I'm not going to even say I'm strict. I was but that's my saying. But you still found the loophole that you went to your mama house and came and did everything. But they that's were. That's la- what I'm saying. You listen, was a kid that you're going to still do what you want to do. But you know listen, what I'm saying? You you're can't not stop understanding a kid. That's what I'm, what I'm saying. saying. That, to an extent, yes, you can. They were still able to do stuff, but you need to make sure what you need to like. You're not going to go out before homework's done. So no, you're not going to just go and and come home, do your homework, then go and do what you want to do. So there's responsibilities. There's organization. Yes, you could go out, but you could go out after the things in the house that you have to do, like chores and everything needs to be done. Amen. Whatever. So what other roles we got out there? So we did parenting. We did, what about um, roles in the sense of like careers? Like what, who works and who stay at home or right. who, what levels of jobs you should be doing. Right. I think both, my opinion. Well, then again, it depends. It, it works. What, what works are you? Because if both parents is working, who's watching the kids? And then that child care bill becomes a, a big bill. You know what I'm saying? So if is your job making more than the child, how much you got to pay for child care? If not, keep your ass at home and watch the kids. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You just got to maneuver and work what's great for your family and what balance out for you. Because some some households, both parents working don't work. They got kids. And who's going to pay? Watch the kids. Who's going to? And then that bill of child care you is high. Both still. parents don't work? Both parents working sometimes don't work in the same household. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Because they got young kids and who got to you know, pay somebody to watch the kids, which, you know what I'm saying, $500 a week, you might be making $300 a week. That's not going to balance out. You know what I'm saying? So it'd be better for you just to stay at home and watch the kids. But if if your kids is grown, if you don't have kids and you just sitting at home doing nothing, like the person working is going to get it. That's going to play out real soon. Yeah, He's going to find somebody that's working and build with he them. He or you know she, because typically it's she's just working and it's him that's at home. Mm, I don't know who you hanging around with. <laughs> Shit. No, it ain't who I'm hanging around with. But typically, <laughs> it's Tip- she's working and he's at home. Uh, typically, he's working and she's at home. You know, y'all, the money mooch of women that's sitting at home want to spend on the man's check. Like I said, you know I've seen more women taking care of men than men taking care of women. But, but that's however a whole it story. is, 
that one person is going to get tired coming home, seeing you laying on the couch playing 2K. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, look, this is getting old, and she's going to be in her – Somebody's gonna catch her eye that's doing something. And is is that's how it works? Like I don't even think it's catching her eye. I think everybody gets some people it, it gets old. You know, when you it's like being on a team and you're the only one making the shots. Yeah. So yeah. it's like and and you're not doing or contributing anything to the relationship. I think anybody would get tired of that. However, so when you said basically the roles, I think, you know, even being a team in a sense, because even when we went to go back to get our schools. We took terms like I went to school. Then you went to like we we did because it's child care situations. Yes. Right. Right. Work was best. But once our kids got older and they became teenagers, we were able to maneuver some things around. Now, I never believed in putting responsibility on my kids because when I was a kid, I had younger sisters that I basically was forced. Well, one of them, it was like my baby. She cried like that was literally my kid. Like at eight, I had a baby. And, like, I couldn't go outside. I couldn't do anything because she, she was so attached to me like I was the caregiver. And they made me responsible for her. Like, I'm 8, 9, 10 years old. I want to go outside. Oh, you have to take her. So I never believed in making my older kids care for my youngest daughter because they're, like, years apart. So they're adults. She's just now – well, she's a junior in high school. But I really believe, like, even when you're trying to do something in the household, not making the kids have to, like, oh, everybody got to carry their weight. No, that's that's not your kid's responsibility. But I do believe in, like, with your mate taking turns, like, hey, you know, if we go to school, you sit this year out or whatever, let me go, then you go and make it work for your family. Same thing with working. I agree. Same thing. Two people can't work at the same time. No. What if the kids is in school? Somebody- I mean, but that's what I'm saying. I mean, you got to balance what's out because some, say you were both working day shifts. Who's going to take the kids to school? Who's going to, you know what I'm saying? So well, one we, person should work the graveyard shift. One person that. should, ba- you know what I'm saying? You got to maneuver stuff that works for your but family. But I think even that, it's, it's, it's a sacrifice because I, I work. Because well, if you was working day, I was working graveyard. You know what I'm saying? So it's like we, we, was, we didn't see each other, but we was making it work. You know what I'm saying? We was making it work, but it was a heck of a sacrifice, and it was very taxing on our marriage, too. Yeah, my daughter, you know, because I work graveyard, so I come on home and sleep, like, all day, and I just used to lock her in the room with me. She was really, she just sat there and watched cartoons, though. She That's one thing, having a good kid. No, 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 no. Don't take credit. It's called structure, because you, no, 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 because you're talking about I'm control. My kids knew. Not to touch certain certain stuff. They knew when we went to people's house how to behave, basically because of structure. How you basically teach your kids in the home is how they will act in public. So when you keep saying controlling, no, my kids knew to sit down. You stuck on that controlling yeah, word. Huh? You, That's yeah, because you, yeah, don't, word. don't, controlling. yeah, because you, you saying it, but oh, she would sit down. And when you have a good kid, no, because I taught them well. Mm. Yeah, don't take that credit. Okay, we're going to give you a coin yeah, that's all on me. that one. You want to say you talk them real. Whatever. Right. You want to say, um, so back to what I was saying is, basically, find what's worth for you. Don't try to be like the Jones or the Miles. You know what I'm saying? Well, find, yeah, so the Miles. Find, so arrogant. You know what I'm saying? Find what arrogant. works for you. You know what I'm saying? Because every household is different, and don't listen to everybody. Shit, don't even listen to us. You know what I'm saying? Just do what works for you. Do what works for you in your relationship. So what are the roles we got out there? Hmm? Lost in Decision. Word? Oh, head of the household. Like who, who? Who made the shot call? Who's the shot caller in your house? Mm. I think it should come in a mutual agreement on certain things. You know what I'm saying? Like, like even like, when, um, let's even take this one on the road. Like you want the people want to come move in for, you know what I'm saying? I don't think that should be a one-person decision. Oh, my mom need a place to stay. My sister need a place. My cousin. I just told him, come over here. I, I think you should communicate that with your spouse, and that should be a mutual decision because this is their place of peace also. What do you think about that? What if you, what, but what if you guys don't agree? Then shit, she, they could go to the motel with them. Shit. But that's not a that's not a compromise. It is it's not a compromise, <laughs> but you gotta take in fact that a person's home is their their peace and sanity. So if a person don't agree on that, you you actually throwing a rock in your marriage or your relationship because now you bring outside influence and disrupting their peace. True. 
Um, there's times that I've made decisions without you, and there's times you made decisions without me, without me, and it was a straight desire. <laughs> exactly. You know what I'm saying? We learn <laughs> as we go. Like, hey, they gotta go. Like straight up. It mm-hmm. times you is like, hey, they gotta go. I think that was the hardest, the hardest thing I ever had to do was tell my family like, hey. Cause she she rather be, she rather me be mad at her than the people be mad at her, you know what I'm saying? Because the way well I was young back then and and it it caused a lot of issues in our marriage because someone was always living with us and for me and we ain't talking about to get on your feet we talking about moved in like damn you've been here for years. You know what I'm saying? We Nobody ain't talking about like a couple weeks fears. type shit. Spend a night. You know what I'm saying? But it's like even you open the door for people, people don't have a plan to leave. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like giving a person with no job loaning them some money. They don't have no vision, no goal to set pay you back. They don't plan on paying you back. They only got no income. So I don't need that. That's a whole different topic to loaning people money that don't got a job. But go ahead. Yeah, so... You know, I've always had, so every place we stayed in when we were younger, one of my family members lived with us. And um, I would tell him, yeah, without even asking him. And I knew he was going to be mad, but it was just like, hey, I can't leave my family out in the cold. But then I had to recognize, too, if this is a continuous problem, then actually I'm not helping you. I'm only enabling you because you know that I'm going to basically be there with an open door. But if I stop letting you come, eventually you'll figure it out. But in, in that I've learned, like, sometimes you have to, con- well, not sometimes, you got to consider your mate first because it caused a lot of conflict. He would be, see, for me, when my family living there, it didn't bother me because it's my family. I'm kind of used to. And I used to use that as an excuse to be gone. <laughs> yeah, he'd be like, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. And so because he would be in the room all day and I would just be out all night to the middle of the night just talk because it's kind of like when you're, when you're with your family, is I don't feel like I have to entertain. It's my I grew up in the same house with them, so we know how to interact with each other, right? I mean, certain things get on your nerves, but it's like I'm va- I'm very family oriented where he was not. Um, so we grew up like basically sitting around talking for hours. So he couldn't comprehend that because him and his siblings are not like that. And so for me, I was just like, you know, I got my family here. This is fun. Like I enjoyed it, but then when it became an issue with us. I was just like, yeah, you know, you guys got to go. And I think that was the hardest thing that I've ever had to do is to tell my family, like, and see their faces, like, and look in their face, knowing they didn't have anywhere to go and tell them, like, hey, y'all got to go. And y'all going to think, like, damn, he's cold-blooded. Yeah, I am. But then back then, even, like, even in um, relationships, many people take the hit for their mate. Cause like a lot of times it would be him. It wouldn't be me. But of course I'm like, Oh, my husband wants you to leave. Cause I don't want you to have a negative, you know, impression of my husband. So I would just take it on. And they looking but, at me but like, But the oh, thing is that she would communicate that before the situation. It yeah, would have been a situation. I was wrong. You know what I'm saying? So that comes again with lack of communication of just basically do what you want to do. And it's like, I'm not the bad guy. But I think back then before though, the difference was an unhealthy mindset in the sense of I didn't, I used to feel bad to say no. Whereas now I just like straight up. No, you know what I mean? And I think that's a learning process having to have those uncomfortable conversations because it's like, dang, I don't want my family mad at me. But now it's like, I don't care if you mad. Like if you mad, you just mad. And I had to learn that like in my late twin, like I can't keep sacrificing my marriage for other people that, you know, you and your relationship thriving and, and it's cool. And then I'm over here arguing with him behind closed doors and we're at it because basically I'm letting other people interfere in our marriage. And that's where a lot of our conflict actually came in our marriage where a lot of people don't know is me basically choosing other people over him. Oh, that's a coin right there. The stuff that you put in is a coin. Don't even make that's sense. That's not me. That's the coin. DJ. Oh, okay. Whatever. Shout out to the DJ over there on the ones and twos, man. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's hard. AKA Demetrius. <laughs> but let's talk about um even a sense of like spiritual when people say Oh, we could bring with spiritual with the kids because that was an issue for me too at the time. What? You wanted to raise our kids Christian wise and I was like you just forcing them to go to church and all that, you know what I'm saying? I had an issue with that. Okay. Now I'm gonna be honest, I don't care if you had an issue with that. And, and I really don't, because at the end of the day, if we put it in perspective, you only had an issue with that because you had an issue with God at the time because you felt like God was taking your wife. 
But in reality, from a spiritual standpoint, I would never remove giving them the foundation of God. I'm always, if I got to fight for my life, because at the end of the day, when they clock out here, everybody has an enter and exit date. Everybody's going to die. That's the only thing that's going to matter. So if I got to fight to tooth and nail to basically sweat and tears for my kids and know the foundation of God, they're going to know that. I don't, I'm not going to regret or take that okay. back. Okay, hey Amen. But let's get to the point you was about to say before I cut you off. Spirituality, like in terms of when people say the, the, the woman is supposed to follow the husband. Follow it. I mean, that, I feel like the husband, only way that, that scripture script, whatever I say, if the husband is following God. Yeah. Yeah. So, I know that much. Okay. Yeah. Because my thing is when people be like, Oh, Oh, I'm supposed to, you know, follow my husband. But it's like, no. And I tell people this, it's like, God is the teacher. The husband is the line leader, right? He's in front of the line. You know how, like, when you were in school, there was a line leader and everybody yeah. get in line behind. Always cut. Okay. Anyways. So the teacher is God. Your husband is the line leader. But in reality, you're not following your husband. You're following the teacher, which is God. Because if you think of a line, and, you know, at, at school, the student is following the teacher, and to me, what that scripture means is if, yeah, if you're in your rightful place and you follow following after God, then, of course, I'm going to get in line and follow you. But ultimately, I'm not really following you. I'm following God. Now, if you on some knucklehead foolishness and you basically out of line, alignment, no, nah, I'm not. No, nah, I'm not. Heck, no, nah, I'm not following you to do no crazy, stupid stuff. So then in that th point, I got to put on my spiritual hat and I have to tell you what we should be doing. So do you think you're following me? At times, I think there's times where you know you over here lying. You lying because I ain't following God. No, no, no. My no, decision no, no, making no, no, don't go no, based no, on no, God. No, no. You're lying because there's times you'll wake me up or we'll have conversations and you'll say, "Sonia, God, show me this, 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 this," and I'll be like, "That's crazy." I mean, some me things something. like that, but I ain't gonna wake up and see like, "Damn, am I gonna eat the A or the bacon?" God, God, be in this direction. Okay, now you're yeah. No, I'm just saying that's not you know what I'm saying, but that's something you would do. That is something I would and do. And that's what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is there are times where spiritually what you say in aligns with God. Let me tell you something. Gifts are without repentance. Now I'm putting on my, my godly hat, my spiritual hat. This The Bible says gifts are without repentance. And what that scripture means is you're walking in your gifts even if you serve God. And so Demetrius, I don't know how he wanted. First of all, if he wasn't spiritual, I wouldn't be with him. Second, you know what I'm saying? First of all, first and foremost. Secondly, he doesn't talk about God but there's a lot of conversations we have spiritually behind the scenes that he'll say something that God has already shown me and I'm like okay now there's some stuff he'd be saying like nah I'm not doing that like that just don't make sense and I don't agree at all you know and people you know we know because it's behind closed doors but there are times where spiritually he's on point you know what I mean and I'll be like okay but then other times, if it ain't God, I'm like, no, nah, that ain't me. And I'm not listening to you. We doing this. So there are times where we both take lead in certain situations based on what the situation, like with the kids, there was no way he was going to tell me that I wasn't giving them God as a foundation like that. That's something I would God is one thing I would never compromise on ever. Hey Amen, y'all. I will give her a coin, but the DJ said no. He's over there shaking his head. No more coins for her. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> okay, so um, other roles. No, I want to Oh, you want to fit on your spiritual roles? Go ahead. Yeah, because, like, even in the sense of, like, uh, prayer. You know, I used to still sometimes, but I used to do it a lot. Like, to where we was, like, crosses with the oil on the windows and the kids that already know. Like, I would go through the house every night and pray. Um that could be an issue, you know, sometimes when you. No, I, actually, I never had an issue you praying because I, I feel like that really didn't um, interrupt me. No, it, it actually helped you. Probably, you know what I'm saying? But me, it's me praying, I don't know, it just felt awkward for me. I don't know. I just never because got you, in that that state of mind of praying, of thinking things going to change because I prayed because shit. Wait, I would be honest, I prayed a lot back in when I was struggling days and then changed shit. I was still struggling. Because you didn't learn the lesson. And hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But praying is not, God is not a genie, though. Like, exactly. So I'm going to get off my ass and do the do the work and skip praying. No. My point exactly. No, and that's probably why nothing was ever happened. I, I agree. I've seen the times where you've tried 
You went to church. You basically was studying. You were man. I I, I destroyed all my um hip hop CDs and shit back in the day. I really tried to take my walk seriously. After like a couple months, I was like, damn, I need them CDs. I back. think it was like a year. <laughs> um, but the thing is, God is not a genie, and so I'm a th- look. Check this out. And I'm serious when I say this. It don't matter if I was in a shack. It don't matter if I had one eye. I was broke. I'm going to serve God regardless. Be, it, 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 he don't. Ha- the fact that I, I'm breathing air alone, that's it. Because he's done so much. And, and this sounds cliche, because people. but I'm saying the fact that you woke me up this morning is I got to praise you. I have to thank you because if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't even be breathing. I tell people all the time, a person can get shot 20 times. Well, oh, they died from COVID. They died from this. At the end of the day, the person that who has the last say, whether you stay or go, is God. I'm always going to serve God. I don't care what state I'm in, yeah, yeah how that, good I am, how you, bad I am. You look at certain situations and be like, damn, you know what I'm saying? They, they die off a twisted ankle, but the homie got shot 20 times and still breathing. Because God you know has saying? the last so, say. And yeah, that's why I put my you never faith. Know. Yeah, I, I, it, they don't never know. I know. I put my faith in everything in God. So when it comes to God, yeah, 100% in marriage. If you tell me right now, is, is God or me is God? Like, I'm never going to compromise that. Ever. Okay, let's, let's talk about this rose of like, you know, house. Designing your house. Who, who gets to decide <laughs> that? You know what I'm saying? Because I think you really bullied me to design the living room. It's going to give me the little loft to design. You know what I'm saying? And nobody sees my little loft because it's upstairs. You know what I'm saying? It's but it's like, for you. Shit, this you don't even sit in the loft. So how how you feel like your role was to take over and design the main of the living space? I designed the, the, our room. <laughs> I know. You just took it over. I got one little loft room. <laughs> Well, well, we had a conversation. We had a conversation, and you agreed to it. You only went back on the conversation, or the agreement is when you you thought about the idea of I got more rooms than you. But you initially agreed to that you would only design the law. Man, he wanted my living room to be like a a ping pong table. Like this ain't no yeah game. entertainment area. It's like we got this big old dining table that says, "Let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight seats." But ain't nobody ever ate at this motherfucker. I eat at it. So if we had a pool table. The pool table would have got utilized. If you playing pool, ping pong, it's like why have furniture that nobody used because you I, wanted to I, look I, pretty. No, I, like, <laughs> man, get out of here with that shit. <laughs> I, I, I eat at my table all the time, and then you eat at your table. You could have had one of them little do- domino no, table out here. Gosh, you know what I'm saying? No, no. Like, and, and that's the thing. I like quality. I'm classy. I like stuff to look upscale. Where he's just he, no, he doesn't. For him, nothing. It, everything doesn't have to have a rhyme or reason. For me, everything needs to flow. Everything needs to match. Be used. It needs. It's to, gonna be you. Yeah, you got a I, whole scenic area that nobody sit at. It's that's a waste of space. They say my my they say my wa- house looks like a model home, but yeah, I don't. But I don't care. That's a waste of space. That's what I'm saying. I could have had a pool table, darts, and everything. It's like all this space could be utilized, but you just wanted to look pretty. I like it to look. So like, that's okay, why I said on, she pause. bullied me in designing no, the, the no. house. Okay, listen, listen, and I'm serious. Aesthetics is everything to me. How something looks can put you in a good or bad mood. And so even if my house is like not clean, which is rare, it puts me in a certain mood. Like, let's say, for example, I get up in the morning, my bathroom sink is like he got hair and shaved. He don't clean up after himself. It's very annoying. Stuff all over. Like you put in my personal business <laughs> out there. I don't shave and clean up the hair out the sink. I, I wipe it to the floor. Exactly. So <laughs> for me, if I get up and I see that, and let's say I got to be somewhere, like, I got to clean. Like, I have to clean. Like, it's going to annoy me. So now I got to clean this stuff up before I can get dressed and go because just seeing it bothers me. So aesthetics for me is everything. When I walk home after my housekeepers left, like, and it's like the bed just, they have the, you know, it, it looks nice. And it just puts me in a certain mood. And so when your house just looks dilapidated for me, it's like, I don't want to be here. But when I come home, my house look nice. It's smelling good. It got the aesthetics on point. I'm in heaven. 
So mm. for me, that now, apparently it, I don't play that part, huh? You should be in heaven no matter what. Shaq and Nell, when your man is there, you come home, you see your man, you should be in heaven. Yes, you know true. What I'm saying? You that worry too. about the That's materialistic the shit over here. It ain't here. about the materialistic. It doesn't even have to be like cost so, a so lot. So basically, you saying if you came home to a shack, raggedy house, and your man is there, it's like hell. No, because I did that for years. Because no matter what, if I your man is there, years. it's okay. like heaven. Okay. Shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You you taking it yeah, personal? Yeah. Period. If I'm hold anywhere, on. it's like heaven. Hold no. on. So I did that for years. We always wasn't in the place where we were at. We did live in the shack. We did, you know what I'm saying? Our furniture didn't have any rhyme or reason. And it still was a safe haven for me. But what I'm saying is I wasn't creating either. Now, okay, for example, we just did, what, a seven-mile bike ride? I was like, on our on our way ride, I'm like, hey, let's go back to the house. Let's do, let's do an episode for the podcast. Like, scenery to me puts me in a creative mindset. When I'm in certain environments and certain things look a certain way, I can't create. Like, I don't know. Everybody's different. But environment for me and mood and creativity is everything. And you know it is, too. I know. Because, you know, it be get, I got in a lot of, I was in depressed mode of living in the shack. And you know what I'm saying? Exactly. So why are we playing like, I, what you What they call I me mean, devil's advocate. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, because you, like, you, you understand exactly I what understand. I'm saying. So for me, if he's telling me he want to design a room and I'm like, the stuff he picking, it's like, Man, my dude. loft is dope. It's grind faced out, red and black and gray. What are you talking about? That but room he is wanted, fly. Okay, but he wanted Got our- Got the PlayStation hold 5 on, over hold there, on. the TV. He you know wanted our whole living room. And I still ain't put up the pictures of the kids. I got to do that too. He, he wanted our living room, our family room, to be grind. And I'm like, dude, no. You can have the loft to do that. But my whole house is not about to be a grind face TV house. So I compromised and let him put. Who made that picture it's for you? talking about let me put. Look, see, that, yeah, that control you, shit. Now, that may be. Because my <laughs> living my family room was not about to be a grind. Like, no. Absolutely not. Who made that picture? Um, Shane. Shout out to Shane for the artwork. It's nice. So I'm like, okay, we could kind of tie, even though I didn't want those colors, but because he was so adamant, oh, I want to, so I let him put the, the grind face TV picture control. in the family room. Y'all hear the control all well, that conversation. At the end of the day, hey, I wasn't about to have a grind face TV family room. That that just wasn't about to happen. Amen. See, you put the, the coins down. It don't even make the sense. The DJ dropped here. the coin because you was just showing how controlling you are. Okay. That's all. I'm controlling? Did I not let you compromise and put the picture it's Your key word, let me. That's called a controlling word. Okay. Let huh? me. It is. But, Thank you. No, but it is. But because you're trying to. You're trying I'm not to, trying to nothing. Hold on, hold on, you're saying it all. No, no, no. no. I'm just you're trying to it make, out. Okay. The reason why I said I let him. Put the picture there because we already agreed that I would do the the family room, the dining room, basically downstairs. So when he came in last minute, like, oh, oh, you, I only got the loft and start, you know, having a tantrum. I said, okay, I'll let you. But let's be realistic. You kind of took over the family room. You and, and did what you want to do, like that gather, pray, love. Bless. I didn't do that. All these little knickknacks and all this stuff in here. You didn't do a lot still. <laughs> Shit, let's get to it. You put it there. We still, if, if it was still waiting for you, we still live in the hip hop or rapper house who got a Mago mansion in an empty ass house. Talking He's about, lying. I still got to get to it. He's, well, yeah, you, you still got a whole lot to get to. That's my that's point. True. Shit, right? Like, that's true. Only I'm going to get shit done. That that it will get the stuff I need to get done. Like get the pit kids pictures up. That's what you want to do. That's my point. If I want to do something, I'm going to get it done. It's going to be up. You tell me, put some pictures up. I'll get all the pictures I want up ASAP. No, because I don't See? want the pictures that you want. Controlling. My it's point exactly. <laughs> it's not controlling. We just have different taste and different style, completely different taste. And so, who? you're more of a, I don't know, you might put some, what pictures would you put up if I told you to put some pictures up as a kid? Honestly, I don't know. I don't know. The See, pictures I, I like. Yeah, and as you see, if you go to his page, this is the thing. I don't know what he be thinking, and it, it makes me so mad. Even when we take pictures, he will choose the most raggediest picture. That's in her opinion, because at the, the end most, of the day, 
I'm only as good as how good my wife looks. So why would I post a bust, busted picture of her? She just feel like it's busted. I, if I promise I'm you. the one looking at you and I think it's I good. I promise you. That's me looking at you. I this is my promise my you. It will be 10 pictures. And every I never, single time. I never I posted. Promise trust me, you. I never posted a picture that I thought you looked busted. I, I, I promise you. At the end you, of the day, I did I didn't. Pro- and I'll be looking you know at the pictures like if people see me in person and seen the pictures on his page, like. It, it, it ain't even a representation. The, of the thing I always tell people, though, the camera don't lie. <laughs> Shit. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? People always no. want to be like, oh, I'm, I'm not, a, I'm not no. photogenic. I'm not photogenic. No. no, the camera's telling the truth. You just the chick. No. This is what it is. It can be a picture Shit. with you off guard looking. Cr- and I'd be like, Demetrius, like, are you serious? Like, I think it's, all the I, if, pictures, I think it's sexy. Why that, did you post that? That's the that? thing. That's the thing is, is basically, if your man feel like it's sexy, shit, let him post it. I'm he taking, feel hold like on, it's sexy. I'm taking. Who are you trying to get an opinion for? Your man think it's myself. sexy. Like, bam. Myself. Now, I, if I see if we was broken up, then I might be doing some devilish shit. You know you what I'm saying? Like, nigga, look yeah, at this picture. Like, oh, look at her cross-eyed ass. Oh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Definitely not cross-eyed. <laughs> but anyway. Like, shit. And, and I just be like, are you kidding? Oh, let me, my bad to all the cross-eyed people out there. Yeah, that Nothing was kind of mean. Put your shades on. That was mean. That was mean. But yeah, I'll be like, what, dude? Like, what are, what are, what are you looking at? Like, but I don't do stuff like that. Yeah, you don't post me, period. But uh, that's a different topic. Let's get on. You know what I'm saying? Let's get on. Um, I don't what else post, role? period. Let's get on other roles. What well, other role? Other role. Other mm. role. What other out there people be having um, issues with roles and stuff? You, you, you blank in the head? Like, who who decides, the like, who buys the gifts? I feel like I always have oh, to wait, buy. Oh, wait, did we even got on, answer the question of who um, decides stuff at the household? Yeah, Are we, we said being, it's a mutual, uh, like, mutual communication. Yeah. Gift buying from the family. I always have to do Christmas yeah, I'm not shopping. A gift. And it's so much pressure. The pressure? You <laughs> fucking <laughs> ask the kids, like, what do you want for Christmas? And I'm buying that. That's How's that pressure? See, I don't believe in giving me a list of what you want. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like a gift is, is a gift of how I feel you should, I want to give you. Now, when you making a wish list of everything you want, you should get a job. So when Go our kids was really small, it was very easy to get everybody because you got a bunch of toys. Everybody was fine. But now that it's two adults, plus we mm-hmm. took in my um, daughter's boyfriend. She's been with him since they were kids as our son. And then a t- it's like it's so much pressure to feel like to try to figure out you know, because you want to put a smile on your kid's face to figure out what they want and what they will be happy with. And he doesn't help. Like, he doesn't. I don't. I'm not going to lie because help. I'm not doing the wish. List. I'm going to get them something. And it's they, okay. actually, oh, the no. older they get, the more uh, um, the more harder it is. You know what I'm saying? I feel like. And then each of your kids has got a different character. It's like you go out the way. Um, I bought my son some good shit. And he just turned around selling the shit like because that. Because, Demi- let me tell you something it's about like Demetrius. Shit. Demetrius is so annoying. He buys, he buys you what he wants to get. And it's, I, I, I never forget I buy this. you I ne- what, no, what you utilize. No, if you no, say you in the music, I'm going to buy you no, shit in the music he game. He buys you what he, I remember I wanted um, some earrings, some bamboo earrings. This was years ago with my name in them. I put do my you, name in do that you moment. you know? <laughs> okay. I, I was so hot. Why are you hot? Because one of them hold have on, my name in it. Like, he, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so he don't even buy me bamboos. He buy me some hoop. And I clearly said bamboos. The with, guy didn't have on. no bamboos. Yes, he did. He, 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 so he put one of the earrings had my name and one of the earrings had his name. When I tell you I was livid and I didn't even play it off. Typically, I'll play was, it off when upset. I don't like She was, I was upset hot. to represent her man. Y'all just see that shit? No, because he always does this. If you tell him, the crazy thing is you, he'll send me stuff all day long and he want me to buy him. But if I tell him specifically something to get me, he's going to get what he wants to get me, which is so annoying. If I want it, I can go get it myself. Exactly. But get me what I'm telling. So I don't believe in getting people what you, I get people what they want to have. Get it yourself. No, don't get me. I'm going to get you what I want to get you. 
that's part of the okay, gift. Okay, so I'm going to start giving that's you, part what, of you what I want to give Yeah, you. I, I send you suggestions. Like, here, this is my birthday coming there. Uh, here's a suggestion. No, because that'd be so, no. so hard. I don't know what to get you. Well, no. here's some suggestions no. out there. You know what I'm saying? No. But I'd be happy on, I, I'm a thoughtful person. Like, you got to really be, give me something personal and that means something. Like, I'm not one, oh, you got to spend the bag on me and I'll be happy. It's like the thought of you actually figuring out who I am, what I like. And a gift and like that. Okay, he's you know saying, saying he he's he's such a liar. He is a thoughtful gift when it comes to other people, but your thoughts may not be what I wanted. However, he also is very expensive and has always been very expensive. Like the the But the, I don't put that burden on people. No, you put it on me. No, I don't. Because yeah, if do. I want it, I can just go get the shit. You'll send me something. You'll yeah, it's just being a suggestion. It's not a suggestion. You when I don't saying? get it, then you get mad. No, I'm not, I'm not getting mad. I'm just saying it's a suggestion. I mean, let me, because you, you bought me some, some shit. I was like, what the hell is this shit? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what was it? What was I think it, it was some, some engraved pen or something. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, you didn't even put grind face on it. It's like, if you would have put grind face on it, I would have been like, oh, yeah, I like this. Because you, you you doing something that means something to me. What did I put on it? Um, Mr. Miles, some shit like that. Demetrius Isn't or something. Isn't that who you are? But yeah, but that shit, I'm, I was more passionate about my brand. Than so yourself? you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Do I look like I'm all up on myself? That's crazy. You know so saying? you you were mad because I put your name and not grind face on the pen. Exactly. But it was personal. Because Let it's something I'm, 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 I'm passionate about. You're it's not like passionate about yourself? No, I'm not. Shit, I'm passionate about what I'm building. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? I could get anything with my name on it. I know my fucking name. But let's get back to the gift <laughs> thing. Because this one, it was one Christmas we was doing real bad. Real, I mean real bad. And we couldn't afford to give our kids no gifts. Which Christmas? I don't know which Christmas shit is a Christmas. So basically, we came up with the idea of giving them oh, a, the golden ticket. You came up with that. You know idea. what I'm saying? It's like we didn't have you know no money to get them Christmas gifts, so we gave them a golden ticket until I got my income tax. You know what I'm saying? And the so, golden ticket represented they could have asked for anything, anything they want. I mean, just this I was going anything. And the thing is, my kids just they just went so basic. I, <laughs> Oh, my goodness. I was like, y'all can have anything you want, anything you desire. It's a golden ticket. I'm going to get it. I'm going to make it happen and get it for you. But they were so, um, they they really understood. And there was appreciative of that. Because you know how most kids, oh, it's Christmas time. We ain't got nothing. They want to throw a fit. They really. Um, I think they were disappointed. That was the only time we were. That's why I was like, what, Christmas? That was the only time we were in a situation where we couldn't get them anything. And I felt like crap. But. The they were such team players. Like um, you could tell, they were disappointed, um, not seeing anything under the tree. But the way they handled that was like it was so like just man, I'll never forget that. Cause I know as a kid, I'd have been like, dang. I mean, I probably wouldn't have acted out either. But they they took it like champs. They did. Yeah. So they but they they probably remember that for the rest of their life or something. But you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, man. It is what it is. You just got to make what you got and do what you got to do. And we're going to wrap it on up because now she done got on her laptop and started okay, working and shit. It's closed. It's closed. You know closed, what I'm saying? Like, closed. we got that on the last podcast that she's don't know how to turn off work and bring it all in, into everything else. But that, you don't try to make it seem like I'm a workaholic. Did you or did you not just pop up your laptop and try to do emails? Okay, this is the thing. This is the thing. This is the thing. And I think you should respect this, right? A lot of people be like, oh, I don't watch TV, but they sit on social media all day long. So for me, like most people, when they get bored or it's a habit for them to get on social media, I'm the opposite. So for me, I look at work, you know what I mean? And so to me, that's that's a, that's a healthy skill. So she just I, said for most people that when they get bored, they jumped on social media. And when she get bored, she works. We in the middle of a podcast. <laughs> no, I'm not bored. And she jumps on her laptop no, and start working. No, 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 now, no, no, now no, is no. that what she did? She not did she not just say that? You know what I'm saying? When she get bored, she start working. We in the I middle did. of a podcast, and so she pops Hold the on. laptop open and start checking emails and shit. Wait a minute. Let me put this in context. Let me put this in context. So 
What of my staff works on Saturdays? I just got an email on my phone. So I basically opened my laptop to respond to him within this system that we use to respond to what he was saying to me. That was it. So he's, it wasn't like I went into, but what I'm saying is it's a help. You trying to make me look real bad. It I'm, is, not, I'm just yeah. pointing out hold facts. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because one thing that he will tell you if he's honest, I sacrifice and go hard for him and my kids. When it comes to him and my kids, everything stops. Say I'm lying. No, you're lying. I'm lying? You're lying. Okay, so you, you being funny. You, you being you funny. You pick and choose. You being funny. For your kids, yeah, but for me, I, I don't have to wait. I'm going to wait till you finish some shit. You're yeah, such a I liar. gotta do this. I gotta do that. Hold on, hold on, I gotta hold on, do hold on. this. So you saying when it comes to the kids, everything stops? I'm a, I'm gonna make sure. No, no. You come to think about that, no. You are gonna yeah. finish it? What you gotta do? You're such. A, if my kids call me right now, it's like, what do you mean? I don't know. I gotta watch it. If I'm at the, I, I'm gonna pay attention my now. Kid. Okay, I'm pay well, attention. Well, well, you know what? Let's let's do a poll. Let's because you're the only one that's gonna say no. Let's ask the kids. No. You don't got time for that. Let me let me call one you of don't them. Got time. I got to hook up to put the phone on the I'm mic. Gonna put, and all that. I'm gonna put you the phone you, on the mic. No, let, you don't, we don't need them. other people' opinions. In no, this. cause you cause you not being honest. Let me call one of the kids let's right call. now. Next, no. if you no, gonna I'm move on to them. the topic, Can they I probably the don't. Kid? They probably don't want to be on the podcast, and I ain't gonna chop and edit them out. No, cause yeah, you know how they is. Like, oh, you got me on the. No, 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 no. Don't try to make. Okay, don't try to make my kids look bad. So. Myself and my kids, Demetrius wants to be all over the social media, and we do not. And we have that right to not want to be. Exactly. So why are you trying to call them? They, okay, then, because to prove your point, you do anything yeah, to prove your cause point. Yeah, because nah, because don't, don't try to make it seem like, oh, like work comes before my family. So y'all, Never. we going to wrap this on up, and y'all tap in, follow us, subscribe. Like, this is just a podcast, nothing, no scripts. We just out here just chopping it up, doing what we do best giving y'all a little insight who we are we just not our brands we we're real people out here on the field on the grind trying to build something better but let me say this i love you i value you and i definitely appreciate you oh thank you baby i really knew that <laughs> okay so um y'all can follow me at i on grind face and you can follow her at all things Sunia Maya. and if you need to know how to spell it sound it out she always tell me that shit too Sound it out. If I knew how to sound it out, I wouldn't be asking you how to spell it. Yeah, his 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 grammar and spelling. Is so terrible. um, if you see some misspellings on my posts and shit like that, shut the fuck up and just move on because we out of here. <laughs>